Come in. Hello, Sylvia. Good morning. Hello. My name is Mary, and I am a student nurse here at CVTC Technical College, and I am going to be administering your um, abutyl inhaler or giving you your abutyl inhaler to administer today. May I have your full name and date of birth, please? Sylvia Vasquez, 130-1966. Okay, any allergies? No okay, allergies. great. No allergies listed here in the MAR. I've already done my two medication checks. I'll do the third medication check at the bedside. And when you are checking your um, inhalers, and if they look like this, you need to actually pull out the inhaler so that you can um, do the medication check from there and also look at the expiration um, date as well. And then you can put that back in. All right, and this is a spacer that we're going to be using with that. Um, the spacer does keep the medication contained so that it isn't lost in the air. So that's why the spacer is the best way to administer a handheld um, inhaler. All right, so just a few things to review. Have you ever, you've given yourself inhalers before? Yes. yes. So just to review, um, Sylvia, is once um, you get the medication in your mouth, it's really important to hold it in um, for as long as you can. We really like it to be about 15 seconds, but that can seem like forever, but it is best to try to hold it in so that it gets into your lungs where we want it to open up those airways. Okay. I would also perform um, a lung assessment or respiratory assessment prior to giving the inhaler, and then I would go ahead and do another respiratory assessment after the inhaler to see if there's been improvement. So just to note that. All right, so the inhaler is a canister and um, when you push down on the canister, that's when the medication becomes released. Is that good? Very good. So that means it's working. You primed it. Everything looks great. So the patient will put this right on in their mouth um, after they take a deep breath. You're going to push down on the inhaler. At the same time, you're going to be breathing in and holding it. Okay? okay. But now that we have a spacer, we're going to go ahead and place the spacer onto the medication. All right. Is this clean for you? All right. I can clean it. Okay. Okay. I'm just going to go ahead and clean that. Even though this is your spacer, I'm still going to give it a little clean before we proceed. This is what you want, alcohol in your mouth. Okay. I'm going to let that dry for a little bit. All right, okay. okay. All right, so we're gonna give um, one puff. Down. <clears throat> Push down. Oh. Good. Good. Mine. Good. Again. Yes. Press two puffs? Yep, two puffs, sorry. Okay. Push. Yep, and then hold. <sighs> Good job. Great. Good job. Okay, so when I'm done, I will also do that respiratory assessment to reassess that. Um, feeling okay? Okay, great. So we'll just go ahead and we would um, go ahead and wipe that off again, which I will do, but I was supposed to use a new. Put that down there and we'll put that on and we'll close that on and we'll make sure that we um, document and um, we completed that. All right, so I, um, I'll be back if you need anything. Um, here's your call light and um, we'll just have you wait here for your um, provider to come in. Any questions for me, Sylvia? No. Okay. Thank, Thank you, you very much.